All right, so here it is all finished. And I guess we'll get into the scales first. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about why I chose to just epoxy the G card onto the original scales. And that was because I knew I was gonna go very thin with the G Carta. And when you go really thin with the G Carta, it tends to be very malleable. I knew adding it to the black G10 scales, it would have gave it more strength. I mean, this is not gonna bend or go anywhere. So there's a lot more strength. And again, I could have just done straight G Carta, but again, I wanted that strength. So that is why I decided to do that. And a few other reasons, the hardware that connects these screws to the other side of the scale. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're press fitted in and they are threaded. But it is kind of nice because the pocket clip side, the hardware won't be seen, so very clean side. And as for the show side scale, you, you have the recessed area for the tension bar for that assisted feature. And it just would have been a lot of work on the underside of the Jakarta. Again, I could have done it, but it just would have been too thin. So I went that route with the uh, scales, which I'm really happy with. And I did slightly contour them, as you guys saw from the customization part of the video. And I mean slightly, just barely. And it does feel a lot better in hand. It's a little bit thicker, and I'll go a little bit more into that once I have the knife assembled. As for the liners, all I did was satin finish the outer side and then I gave it a nice stone wash finish to match the etched in stone washed blade which I am really happy with. Gave it a fresh cutting edge. The studs didn't come off but they etched very nice. Usually the thumb studs don't etch but these ones did. As for the backspacer, originally I wasn't going to create a backspacer but I did have just enough material from cutting off for the scales so I just went ahead and made a backspacer. Did add the jimping on the end of it to match the end of the scales. And then I also beveled the edges of the backspacer here, as you can see there. And this does sit just a hair higher than the scales. And I'll, I'll show you guys that once it's assembled as well. And one thing I did do with the pocket clip is I was going to etch and stone wash it, but I really like this kind of peed up, kind of unfinished look. I think it'll go really well since I do have the liners of satin finish and there are some black uh, accents on the knife as well. So I think, I think it'll complement it very well. And then as for the hardware, I took the black coating off just so it pops a little bit more and it's, it does have a satin finish which ties everything in together. But enough talking about it, let's put this in together and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is all put together, and I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks really good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that Mexican blanket from G Carta. Just looks really, really good. Here is the pocket clip side. And again, I really do like that kind of worn down pocket clip. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below of the decision I made, if you guys think that's a good look, but I'm pretty pleased with it. And let's get this thing opened up. I mean, it's gonna snap open since it has that assisted feature. And yeah, it does make that thwack, which is really, really nice. But here it is opened up. And I think it looks really good all put together. Again, that satin finished hardware really pops against that G Carta. And here's the pocket clip side. Again, if I was able to take off the thumb studs, I would have satin finish those, but I'm okay with it. Has a nice uh, nice look to it all the way around with that, or with the satin finished liners. I made sure to get into the grooves too. Didn't want to leave anything out. 
And while I was assembling, I did put grease on that tension bar for the assisted feature, just so it's nice and smooth in there and then it doesn't rattle. Not that I did before, but just in case. But yeah, that, really not a fan of assisted knives, but this one isn't too bad. You still have easy access to the thumb studs, which is nice, and you can even spidey flick this thing. It takes a little bit of effort since it is assisted. Well, it is doable, I know it is. And one thing that I really do like is how slightly raised that backspacer is. Again, just to give it some attention. Glad that I beveled it too. Just gives it something, something different. And it gives that Jakarta a, a different look to it as well. Uh, I gotta say, this knife is actually really, really nice. And I'm more than likely I might pick one of these up for myself. But the customer has large hands and I think I think with this chunkier and slightly contoured, it definitely feels a lot better in hand. Definitely fills it more. And same with the pocket clip side. I'm assuming he's right-handed, but since that pocket clip is so thin and low profile, it fills the palm well and it just feels really, really good in hand. So I'm really, really happy that I decided to go a little bit thicker on the outcome. But there it is, you guys, the ZT-0350. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.